But what if you're one of the thousands of apps or banks out there that don't yet have a Zelle integration? Well, the good news is there's a workaround here using the separate Zelle app and linking a Visa or MasterCard debit card. So let's dive into that now. The very first step here is going to be visiting the app store and we're going to search for Zelle and we're going to install the separate Zelle app. Now upon opening the app, we have the option here to get started or if you have an account, you can go ahead and sign in. We're gonna click on the purple get started button. And from here, we're going to decide if we want to allow certain permissions and then you're going to enter your mobile phone number. Now, as mentioned before, by doing this with the phone number that you have already, you may unlink it from your former Zelle connection if you've already done it in the past, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna start off by typing in my mobile number and then I'm gonna click continue. From here, we have some different things to agree to about how Zelle is going to be using our personal data and how they are also are taking steps to keep our money safe. After you read these things over yourself, decide whether or not you agree and click on the purple continue button. Now at this point, you do have the option to search for your bank. And I wanna show you what happens here because this is another way to tell whether or not you have a direct Zelle integration with your financial institution. So if we type in, for example, Bank of America, which I showed you earlier, and after clicking on Bank of America, it says you've got Zelle already in your banking app. You can easily send and receive money right through that app. So that's pretty much how it's telling you to do it. So if you have any doubt in your mind, that's the best way to do it. But this right here is a fintech company that I'm actually an angel investor in called Yada, and they don't have a Zelle integration. So I'm gonna type in Yada and show you what happens when you don't have a direct integration. I typed in Yada and it says, sorry, we can't find the bank you're searching for. I'm gonna click on the purple button here that says, don't see your bank. At this point, you're going to supply them with your email address. Then we're gonna click on the purple continue button. And just like before, we're gonna validate the code that was sent to our email. Once you type in your code, you're gonna click on that purple enter button. And now you have the option to link your debit card using Zelle. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and tell you two important details here. First of all, if you have an American Express card, even if it's a personal or business one, they are ineligible for Zelle enrollment. It either has to be a Visa debit card or a MasterCard debit card. Another important detail to be aware of is that all business debit cards are unfortunately ineligible for Zelle enrollment at this time. So if you are a business owner or you have business bank accounts that you're looking to use Zelle with, your only option is to use the direct integration like I showed you earlier, and you just unfortunately can't use your debit card at this point in time. In addition to that, prepaid cards are ineligible as they're often not linked to actual bank accounts and credit cards are also ineligible for Zelle enrollment. But beyond that, it's fair game and all you have to do is obviously enter the information on your debit card and then you can send and receive money using Zelle right to that debit card and it'll go right to your bank account even though there's not a direct integration. So once you type that information in, you're gonna click on the purple continue button and you're also at this point going to fill out your billing address. Once you fill that out, you're gonna click on the purple continue button. And just like that, you've linked your debit card to your Zelle account. Now, if you run into any issues, you might want to explore whether or not you're trying to use a business debit card or something like that and make sure you're not using a prepaid card as well. But for the most part, this should work just like the steps we showed you.